What is the best crypto exchange and why? That's what we're going to be exploring in this video. I'm Joanna Garcilli. This is Crypto Angel Network. If you're newer to crypto, going on to a more advanced exchange could be absolutely overwhelming. If you've been trading for a while, then you want something that has more offerings, has more listings. And then there's another very important factor. It depends what country you live in. So there may be an exchange that you would absolutely love, but you're not allowed to use it. If you're a US citizen, I think this video is going to be extra helpful for you because I know that it took me a while to figure out what exchanges I was even allowed to use, and then being able to work with a series of exchanges. I realized that certain projects that I wanted to go into, they just weren't available on a particular exchange. And I'm going to go over with you today what I think about two exchanges in particular, which are Binance, Binance US, and Gate.io. I'm Joanna Garzilli. This is Crypto Angel Network. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, for lighting up that bell so you get my notifications, for liking the videos, and especially your comments. That makes me so happy. I love getting to engage with you. And please beware of the scammers where they'll send you a, a WhatsApp number or say, do you want investment advice? That is not me. Let's get into this video. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So let me just go to that. And we are going to start off, first of all, over on Binance Exchange. And the reason I want to do that is because my first experience coming into crypto, it was December 2017. It was the peak of that bull run. I was looking at being able to go and buy at the time I wanted to buy, let's see, it was Bitcoin, Ethereum, and also XRP. And then there were some other tokens as well. But those were the main ones that I wanted to go into. So I tried to, with XRP, I wanted to get it on Binance. It, um, let's see, it was available. I don't, maybe it wasn't available on Binance. With that, I had to get onto Bittrex. I had tried to get onto Kraken and that was everyone I, I was seeing on the time at Twitter that people couldn't get into their accounts. They couldn't trade. That seemed absolutely terrifying to me. And so I came across Binance, Binance.com. And I just really liked the look and the feel of the site. Now, at that time, if we look, Binance is over $600 a share. At the time, they were around $2. And I just, I really liked the feel of it. Now, some people, some people I could see were saying that they were nervous about going onto an exchange that was coming from a foreign country that was out of China. But to me, that having traveled the world, I, I mean, I don't have those concerns about uh, certain other countries. But I know for some people, you know, that that risk of, well, what if you can't access your funds? What 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 is the security? I personally felt good about this exchange. I liked the way that it was set up. And um, but then looking at, say, certain other countries, I would say where you, those founders of those exchanges could have offshore accounts. That makes me nervous because they can just disappear. Places perhaps like Malta or British Virgin Islands. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Laundromat with Antonio Banderas and Meryl Streep. That's a, a great example of how you can be wiped out, you can be taken advantage of. But with Binance, I just, I felt good. I got my account signed up. I was, I, I was able to get the tokens that I wanted. Now, at that point, I didn't have a clue what I was doing in terms of trading. I didn't know what green candles were, red candles, moving averages. <laughs> Somehow, I miraculously was able to do the trades. And fast forward to October 2020, and uh, I got an email from Binance saying, because you're a US citizen, you've got two weeks to get off of our exchange. Take everything off. So I had to move everything 
over to Coinbase. And I was absolutely bummed. I had to, I sold my BNB token, which I wish I didn't have to do, but that is one of the disadvantages I felt of being a US citizen. It was very, very frustrating. I would see people in other countries that could still maintain their account. Now at that point, Binance US had not launched. And I was very new. I didn't know about Gate.io. So I began using Coinbase, the main Coinbase. Then I also very soon, a few, a little bit after that in December, began using Coinbase Pro. It's only recently that I actually came across Gate.io as I started looking at certain projects that I wanted to get into and they weren't on Coinbase. Coinbase is used a lot by US citizens. I mean, it's, you know, it's absolutely huge. So let me just go through here and I'm going to just show you a couple of things. Binance versus now Binance US has expanded very quickly in the last two, three months. I've seen them add more and more trading pairs and Gate.io is exploding. What I see is that, in my opinion, Gate.io is getting to the point where it is really looking to take some market share of Binance.com. <clears throat> and we're going to look a little bit more closely at that. So here we are in Binance. And I, I am a raving fan of Binance. If I could use it still, I would. I am grieving <laughs> that I can't participate in it. I want to show you some comparisons here. So look, right, um, right here, we can see all the different offerings. For example, with Binance, the NFT marketplace is coming soon. And that's something that is exclusive to Binance. And you have all these different uh, opportunities of airdrops, of competitions, trading competitions that you can see happening right now. Let me just say I accept. Uh, we've got another giveaway here. Um, what is that? Uh, Ramadan giveaway. And uh, let's see, my neighbor, what's this? My neighbor, Alice, a $50,000 trading competition, stock tokens, trade doge to unlock a meme. So these are the current offerings. What do we got here? Win a, a share of 250,000 mega rewards. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Share your first trade, 5,000. That's it. That's here. Wait, let me just go back a step. So it just clicked me through. So I just wanted to show you what is right here on Binance. And then you can see Binance staking launches. And if we look at, let's take a look here across the top. Binance pool, hang on, Binance earn. Let's go to that. So we've got flexible savings. We've got different launch pools and we've got the vault. Let's go to the launch pool a moment. Alien Worlds, more Alien Worlds, fixed term US dollar tether, Binance US dollar tether, high risk products, US dollar coin. So that's what we've got. I'm just giving you an overview here of, of what we've got on Binance Earn. Now let's hop over to Gate.io. With Gate.io, you can see that these are their current offerings in terms of some of them are saying, here's new listings, here's giveaways, here's competitions. So feeder, this is new, now listed. There's a 10,000 giveaway, Bonafida, which I actually took a, a look at this. And I, 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 like, I like this token. We've got an exclusive launch. This is something I see Gate.io doing more and more, which after being so sad, about not being able to participate in Binance. And I think the big distinction here is that Binance US, we'll take a look at that in the moment, does not offer any launch pads. It does not do where you can get these special airdrops, these incentives of when you are a holder of the native token of the exchange that you can participate in votes and receive these prizes. So this is where Gate.io I see is a direct you could say a direct competitor to Binance. And, and, and this is why I have gone and steadily been buying more gate IO token, because I believe, and this is just, this is not investment advice, but if I look back to, like I said, end of 2017 and, and where we are now several years later from $2 to over $600. And right now gate token 
is just over three dollars it's around today i think it's three dollars fifty and i believe in two to three years from now maybe sooner that gate will be around that five six hundred dollar mark at that point i imagine that binance bnb coin is going to be well over a thousand dollars so this if you are looking for a token that you would like to see what I believe will be bigger gains where you could have multiple X's. Of course, there's no guarantee. We don't know. I, I just look, when I look side by side of Gate.io next to Binance, I feel that it is, it's that the, that's what's coming. That's what's coming next. Because I've been watching in this past couple of months and Gate.io is offering more and more stuff. It just ramped up that there weren't all these trading pairs. They've just, they're doing so much now. If this is something that you, you want to be on an exchange where you can get into some of these more unique projects that have typically been only on Uniswap, uh, or only on pancake swap, but you don't want to have to deal with an Ethereum wallet or a Binance smart chain wallet. And you just, you, you see what I'm seeing is some people, they just want to be on the decentralized exchanges. They want the private address. Whereas I like being for me personally, I like being on a central exchange. I like that it's full on KYC. I mean, the IRS is going to look at everything and has nodes on all these different exchanges anyway. And I just prefer knowing that money that I do have on the exchange is insured and it's insured up to $250,000. That personally gives me peace of mind because I have heard and, and, and seen situations where I know that many people are having a great experience with Uniswap. But for me, I'm just terrified that I do something in the MetaMask wallet and it I somehow I don't connect it with Uniswap. I've I've tried it. It that hasn't been a fit for me for me. And this is what I'm saying for each when you're looking for what that solution is. And I said, well, what's the best exchange and why? I don't think it's not a one size fits all. It's more about looking at and evaluating what's going to be best for you because what's great for one person isn't great for someone else. And sometimes it's a combination of things. I like to think of it as, say, for example, music. Some people like hip hop and rap. Other people like classical. Others, I'm trying to think of another music, uh, jazz, <laughs> electronica. And it might be a combination of liking all of those rather than just one Maybe it's, it's having that playlist, i.e. that exchange list where you are using a combination of those exchanges. By the way, in the video description, you will see my referral link to Gate.io, which gives you rewards of $90. And so that's a win-win for us, uh, for both of us. And then also you will see my Binance US referral link as well. <clears throat> so uh that I don't know if that gives you specific rewards for that, but I would love if you did use that link. And then for Binance, I do not have a referral link because I can't I can't use that exchange. So we can see here, you can see these startups. We've got Stand, we've got BDT, we've got VSO. I mean, there's just so many startups coming on. Persistence is now listed on Get. That's just happened today. That is huge. Uh, so where are we at? We're at the 28th. I didn't know this was going to happen. I'm going to click on that right now because I have done a number of videos. If you look back on my altcoin videos, I was one of the first people to go and mention Persistence XPRT. So you can see here, one can uh, you can uh, deposit, you can trade here. And this is a good example of, I'm going to just go over here. Let's just come over into CoinGecko, just take a second here, Persistence. See, they just announced that every day something amazing is coming on the exchange. And uh, oh my gosh, I mean, their price is going up and up. They're, they're gonna be skyrocketing. So it'll be very interesting to look at that. I'm gonna do a separate video on Persistence XPRT because it is strongly tied to Polygon Matic. Anyway, so you can see here, if we look at all the trading pairs, and I just want to show you this as an example. Look, I mean, it doesn't, hang on. 
it doesn't even show it was only on a send x on bitmax and i can't use i can't use bitmax that was not available to me as a us citizen but at, with gate io boom there it is one can can trade persistence x prt and that was why i got so, super excited about this exchange i, I was pinching myself because I mean, I, I want to be able to get into that, you know, into certain tokens where I have my mainstay, I have my Ethereum, I have Bitcoin. What else do I have? So many things. I have my my V chain, which you know, the advanced V chain still is not on Coinbase. It's not on there, but they, you know, Binance put that onto Binance US, and um, so that's an advantage of Binance US, but. So, for example, there's certain projects like a trust swap or, like I just said, XPRT that's come on there or where I just got Franklin Fly that I really like that I could see Fly eventually going onto Coinbase because to me it's within that realm of a product like uh, persistence, of uh, compound, of yield. And just to be able to, I feel that Gate.io, it gives me that head start. It allows me to get into those projects. And then from here, if we go over to, let's just go to giveaways. I'm just going to take you a step further. Have I attended today? Let me just see. It gives you these points. I love this in Gate.io. You get these points. But you can see here, look, here are, again, so many lists. They have what I think even more to me, I see them moving at an even faster pace than, than Binance right now. Now, if we go to tasks and bonuses, hang on, not tasks and bonuses. Is it rewards records? Let me just see. No, let me just go back to bonus campaigns. Oh, I know, I've got to scroll down. Hoddle and earn. Look at this. Gate IO, you can, you can lock up here your gate and participate if you own that token. Uh, we've got a DHV, Jasmine. I mean, there's just so many different things here. Um, Ethereum, but there's multiple they bring. Sometimes I've seen eight at a time. You have to get in, you have to really pay attention and, and so that you can, if you want to go into something quickly, and then you can see a listing votes here. <clears throat> so they just did Saffron Finance, Bonafida. Some I vote on. And, and I like, and I add my vote to, and, and some I don't. You have the opportunity then to get airdrops when you deposit a certain amount with them. So I, I like that a lot. Then if we, you know, let's just hop over here to, where are we at? Let's just go over to uh, Binance US. And with Binance US, they're just, there aren't these options to participate in these launch in these launch pads. It just isn't there. One of the main things I would say that is very simple that I like with Binance US is the staking. So let me just show you that the staking rewards here. And what I like is that the rewards show up automatically in the wallet. So you can see here, you've got Quantum, EOS, One, VeChain, XTZ, Atom, and Algo. And yes, the percentages are lower than say, if you go to harmony.one to stake, where you can maybe get 10, I mean, 10 to 12% rewards. I've seen on average, it's around five to 6% here. This is just straight in the wallet. I don't have to do anything. My reward show up automatically for the two to 3%. And I just, I trust Binance. So I just feel safe. I take a lower reward. That's my personal, what works for me. Now you have to do what feels right for you. With VeChain, it's one to 3% re reward. And you have to just have a minimum holding of one Vite. And I'll just take you here and just show you that you can just see here are my rewards that are popping up little by little. And uh, so I got 45 one here, 136 one, 127 in Vite or gas. And let me just take you over here to the markets. Let's just go to the trading pairs. And let's just do a little comparison of that. Let's just go here. And um, if we go to, these are some of my favorites, but let's just go to US dollar. And you can see here are all the, I mean, they're adding more and more trading pairs. I think there's around 30 
I think it's around 30 trading pairs, but this is it, right? They just, um, number of things, did I just see Neo? Yeah, Neo just got added recently. I mean, they're adding new things all the time, but not a, a, not a massive amount yet, but you can see they're building up. And what I'm noticing is that Coinbase and Binance, it looks like Binance US is really looking to compete in a lot of ways directly with uh, Coinbase because, and I think it's working because a number of things on Coinbase that I was trading, that are lower fees on Binance US. So let me just hop back over to, let's actually just go here. That's Binance US. Let's go to Binance here, buy and sell crypto, the market, hang on, let's go to trade. And I'm just going to show you the list on Binance. So because it's good to just look at what the options are. Now, if you're a US citizen, remember, you can't use Binance. You cannot use it. But if we go here at the list and these, let's go to fiat. Let's go to the fiat list. We can see here is a list. I mean, there's quite, we're just going, we're still only on B. Look at this. We got a lot of tokens here on Binance, so many, so many. I can just keep scrolling down. It's gotta be well over a hundred, right? Look how it just keep going, it just keeps going. So maybe this is a couple of hundred tokens on here. I haven't counted, I haven't looked exactly, but you can see there's quite, <clears throat> quite a lot on here. So that's Binance. Now let's go over to Gate. Let's go to the markets, trade professional and we're going to take a look and see what is here and I am going to go with let's just hang on a sec let's not go get hang on wait 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 what exchange am I in here I think we're in okay US dollar so uh, by the way for depositing on gate IO you have to deposit US dollar tether that is where the way I do it what I figured out, it took me a couple of weeks to figure this out. I will go, I have my Binance US account. I have, I go US dollar <clears throat> and then convert to US dollar tether, then send from US dollar tether from my Binance US address over to Gate.io so I can get in these tokens. So you can see here, look at the tokens we have here. I mean, you can get let's see, you can get Huboy token. I think that's another really good one, another good exchange token. Cause look at that, there's $18 right now. You figure that's gonna go over a hundred dollars. Some of these, because that's a very, very big exchange as well. You can get bakery, like you can't get bakery on Binance US. You can't get that on Coinbase. Bakery is a very interesting uh, exchange on uh, Binance, on the Binance smart chain that focuses more on NFTs. You can get pancake swap on there. <clears throat> There's a lot of interesting things that are coming up. And um, VRA, Luna, a number of you in the community have been talking about it. BitTorrent, Avalanche, which is a very, very strong project as well. Some people don't like the moon coins, but I do. Um, I'm giving them a go. And, and so... I see that gate is an exchange I feel safe going up gates lifting listing safe Mars and safe moon. They always say trade at your own risk, but the fact that gate IO has listed those tokens and they've listed the dog coins as well, like Akita and Shiba, it just, it gives me a little bit more peace of mind. And look, you can just see, um, and we've got Alpaca Finance. I think that's very interesting. I mean, there are so uh, Wink, and I know a few of you have mentioned about Wink token as well. And uh, so there's a number of tokens that just are not on Coinbase and they are not on Binance US. And a number of them are not even on Binance. Like Persistence X is not on Binance. And look, Dora, I mean, look, look how, ma how many listings they have. It just keeps going. Illuvium, that's another new listing that they have that's very interesting. This incredible this game where the graphics are incredible and you can earn Ethereum on it. it. It just keeps going. I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. To me, it looks like Gate.io has, I mean, it is adding 
so many trading pairs. It really, this is why I think it's looking to compete directly with Binance. It is looking to make that direct competition there. Bridge Mutual is another one. Clintech uh, CTI I just got, which is a medical token that I think is going to perform really, really well. And it just keeps going. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. So this is why I really feel that Gate.io, just watch in the months ahead. I think that it is an incredible exchange to be on. And remember to, if you're not ready on Gate, go sign up, use the link in my description. You'll get $90 in rewards and US dollar tether for trading on here. So uh, we both get to benefit, right? It ends up being a win-win. And I'm just look, Vespa Finance, mini swap. It's just so many salt is another new one as well. It just keeps going there to rage. Incredible amount of listings. And a lot of these projects, Pickle Finance, I don't think these are rubbishy projects. I think they are really, really, they're, they're strong. They are strong projects. So if we just come back here and look at, let's just go down to fees a sec. But I think that it's a, sometimes it's not an either or, it's a yes and. The exchanges I use are Coinbase Pro, Binance US, and Gate.io. Let's come down to fees here. So I'm going to come over to fees and we'll wait for that. One of the things that I have been using as well is coin tracker to be able to see all my wallets in, in one place. I've enjoyed parts of it, had challenges with that as well. That's, that's a story for another time. So let's just go here with the fees. All right, so you can see here, if you do pay fees with gate IO points, but I don't, I don't want to give up my, I have some gate IO points when you, where I showed you where you check in and you attend the lessons and you get these rewards, but my gate token I bought, I, I don't want to give that up because I just, I personally think that gate IO is going to keep increasing in value for the token, but you can see here with you pay fees with gate IO points which I do have some points, you get uh, the, the maker fee is 6%. 6 this is if you're doing limit trades versus just doing a market buy, market sell, right? Limit, for those of you who are newer to crypto, if you do a limit buy or a limit sell, you are the one that is setting the price. You are moving the market. And that maker fee is 0 0.06. The taker is 0 0.06, which is less than Binance US. And then on the, uh, if we go with a certain G, uh, gate VIP tier, I know I'm um, tier three, it says it is, what is this? 13% uh, and on the, on the maker, on the taker fee here, sorry, on the maker, uh, what is it? the maker, it's 0 0.005 actually here. You get a discount here, 0 0.005%. And on the taker, 0 0.044. And then if you pay the fee with gate IO points, it's 0 0.005 taker, 0 0.04. Very low, you know, I, I think it's pretty low fees. If we then come over, let's go to the fees on Binance, let's come back to the main Binance here. Where are we at on Binance? Here, let's go all the way. This is the main Binance. Let's see if I can find this. It's challenging sometimes to find the uh, to find these fees here. Where are the fee? Where's the fee area? So many different sections here. I think I have to go to that. I cannot see. Maybe I have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay, yes. So this is on, let's see how that compares to just to Binance.com. So 25% off trading fee and then 0.075. I think it's the same. And then make a taker 0 0.6, 0 0.06. You will see some of the fees on Gate.io are less. And then if we come over to Binance US, let's go to that. I'm gonna go here. 
Let's see for fees. And Binance US is less than Coinbase. And this is where I think that, again, Binance is taking, Binance is taking more of Coinbase's business as well. By default, if you hold BNB in your account, which I haven't because I'm still so bummed that I had it at $2, but you'll see I'm general. So just spot trading fee, the instant buy and sell 0.1. So that's, uh, yeah, 0.1% and 0.5%. But if you are, let's see here, my, where am I at? My trading volume here. What am I, what's my fee? Let me just see. Um, it looks like I'm trying to see what my fee is here. If you hold BNB, you get 25% discount, deposit and withdrawal fees. Let's see this here. I think it's zero, like the same on Binance, it's 0 0.75. Oh, here we go. Like the maker take, okay, so 0 0.09. 0 0.09 for BIP1. Um, the, the zero is 0 0.075. And, and those are good fees as well. Slightly more than Gate.io, but less than Coinbase. And then in terms of, you know, the last thing really to look at that you have to watch for is in terms of the regulations about what you can do on these different exchanges, you have to check. Because I know that uh, for Gate.io, you're fine as a US citizen. What you need to do is get double KYC verified because one part of the verification process is for you to be able to deposit onto the exchange. The second part of the verification is to be able to withdraw. And, and then you do another step when you are placing an order, a buy or a sell order, you have a second separate password to be able to make that trade. So I like how secure it is, that works for me. And I found it very easy going through the KYC. It took me, it took me three days in total to go through that. And I've had no issues so far. With Binance US, it was a, around the same time frame. I didn't, I didn't have to go through as much, quite as much verification. That was though, if you want to be able to deposit and withdraw a higher amount, then it asks if you want to do additional verification for that. So those are a couple of things to take into consideration. With Gate.io, if you are a resident of New York, state or Washington state, you cannot use the exchange. And I think for Binance US, there's a number, there's several states. I think it's Texas, it's New York, it's Washington. I think it's either, there's a number of additional states more that you cannot use with Binance US. So you need to, you have to, you have to check that. And the other thing that is really critical is where I showed you that there are, there's listings and then there's the startup projects on Gate.io as a US citizen. When you go and you look of if you can, you know, be able to participate on those listings, those launch pad projects, you cannot at this point. Sort of like how there's the launch pad projects on Binance.com and you have them on Gate.io. As a US citizen, we are not eligible for that. So you, you have to be careful because otherwise you could then have your assets frozen. If you see that you shouldn't do it, don't do it. <laughs> don't take that risk. But for anything where you can do a, a vote on a listing for a, a token to come onto an exchange and to get those airdrop rewards, you can. So that's the good thing there. So what I see is that where Binance US does not have all the offerings of Binance, Gate.io, which as a US citizen you can use, is offering all of those different bells and whistles that are on Binance, that have made Binance.com so great. But that on top of that, Gate.io has even more projects that it is, I think, just doing amazing. And that, that's why I 
you know, which exchange do I like more? Binance.com or Gate.io. I think they're both fantastic for different reasons. If I could still use Binance.com, oh my gosh, I would. And, and so for me, Gate.io fulfills what Binance US can't do that is on Binance.com. And then I still, I still I use Coinbase as well. I just have Ethereum and Bitcoin on there. That is all that I trade on there. And I have paid slightly higher fees for that, but I just have that because sometimes I've moved Ethereum over from Coinbase over to Gate.io. And now I'm not selling my Ethereum. <laughs> I don't want to sell it because I, I'm, I, I feel very bullish that Ethereum is going to go into strong double digits this year. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? What is resonating? Do you have any questions about these exchanges? I've been using them now for, for a while. I've done multiple trades on them and I'm happy to answer any questions on that. Let's have a conversation around that. Thank you for subscribing to Crypto Angel Network and for joining me here in this process. And I'm sending you lots of love and look forward to connecting to you, with you in the next video.